What's up guys, my name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a super simple answer to a super simple question on how exactly I have a semi-transparent taskbar. As you can see, I can sort of see through it onto the background. This is a bit white, this is darker, orangey, etc. How exactly do you go ahead and get yourself a semi-transparent start bar and also settings window? If I go ahead and open up settings, you'll see that the left hand side has got this glossy look where you can look through onto the background. How exactly do you go ahead and get this? Well, it's actually rather simple. It's a little bit hidden, but it would be where you expect it to be. Simply press start and type in color, C-O-L-O-R, not the English way with a U, and click on color settings. Once you're here, simply make sure that transparency effects is checked. If it's unchecked, like so, you have a solid color on the left-hand side and your start bar is also a solid color. Enabling this allows you to see through and have this glossy effect. As far as I know, it's called Aero, but it might be something to do with this whole Metro look. Not exactly sure, but these accent colors down here apply to these little selection markers, the checkboxes, items on your start bar, etc. In order to change your actual start bar color, you'd have to go ahead and check this. Start Task Bar and Action Center, and now you have a colored semi-transparent start bar, as well as other items, such as even your start menu over here. Now, I'm not personally a fan of bright colors, so I may go ahead and pick something darker for this, maybe this sort of blue, but as you can see, it can change quite a few things. Personally, I'd keep this off, but you can also enable it for title bars and window borders, which all of a sudden changes the dark window border to a nicer blue or whatever color you have selected here, which may be something that you like. But then again, it does add it to everything like it does to Chrome over here with the dark border instead of having a very dark border or none at all. As you can see, there's a very faint white or gray border around Chrome and this doesn't have any border at all. In fact, it may actually be a nice dark color, but this will go ahead and add it to whatever window you have currently selected, which is rather cool. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.